Hello everyone, so in a previous video you may have seen me make a random number generator using this Geiger counter here where I measure the time between two blips. Um, what I've done today is I've made a different type of random number generator using the static on a TV. So all the, all the static is on a TV is like electromagnetic noise in the atmosphere and some of that noise is from the cosmic microwave background which is radiation left over by the Big Bang. And so I'm using the static as a source of entropy here. Um, what I've done is I have my webcam, as you can see here, plugged into the Raspberry Pi, and I've had I've written some Python code to generate the numbers. Okay, so the first thing this program does is it runs this fs webcam command here, which basically takes an image using the webcam. So the image is saved to this resolution here and it uses the webcam here, dev video zero, which is likely going to be the default one. If you plug a webcam into your Raspberry Pi, it will likely be dev video zero. Okay, um, the image is saved called static.jpg, and it skips the first 10 frames before taking the picture. Um, I don't, you may be able to get rid of this skip 10 altogether. It's just my webcam for some reason. The, fir the first couple of frames sometimes were black, and didn't show anything, so I had to skip the first 10 for it to work properly. Okay, uh, I've piped the standard out and the standard error to dev null, so you won't see anything on the, sc on the screen when this is run apart from the random number. Okay, so that's all saved to a capture image variable, and then the capture image variable is run then to take the picture. Okay, uh, I've used the, I've imported the Python image library here so I can mess around with the picture and get it to produce a random number. Uh, so the first thing I do is open the image static.jpg and save it to a variable static image I then convert the image to a black and white image and save it to BW image um, by black and white I don't mean grayscale I mean black and black or white each pixel can be uh, 0 or 255 and I can show an example here where this is an example of a black or white image taken of the, of the static on the TV and I've got a few there if, uh, and uh, their take so these ones here are conversions from these ones which as you can see are slightly colored original images from the webcam okay so yep so that, that's we now have a variable black white image with those image files in with just a black or white value uh, this while loop here is a bit complicated to explain but basically if you read for it, it it goes through every single pixel on the image one by one by one row at a time and notes down the value of the pixel if it's black or white and you can see here there's a variable called random bits and if the pixel is uh, white it appends 0 to the random bits variable and if the pixel is black it appends a 1 to the variable there um, yeah so the, all the, these, these pixel column and pixel row are then reset so it can go over and over each image as it goes through okay so now we have a, a random bits variable with a huge, huge string of, bi of basically a binary digit, which was a representation of the image. So after that, we open a file called output. Dot, and output is called output.txt, and we write that string to the output file. And this string is converted to uh, base 10, so it's a, it's a decimal, decimal number now. So and then I've also printed it to terminal, which you probably wouldn't use that when you, when if you wanted to leave this running, you just output it to the to the out, to the output file only. But I've used this so I can show you in a minute what it looks like. So basically, run down what we're doing is we're taking, we're looking at every single pixel one by one, finding if it's black or white. If it's white, assigning it a zero to a random bits variable. If it's what, if it's black, assigning it a one to a random bits variable. We then get a massive long string of binary digits which we then convert to a base 10 number which is a huge 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 number because it's it's got all the it's got all, or whatever 3356 times 292 is that many pixels so yeah it's a very big number so I can show you an example of this working if I uh, oh should probably connect to party again okay so if I run this command now You'll see. Make it a bit bigger. It will go. It will take the picture. Look at the 
get the digit and then print it to the terminal here and also print it to an output file and this here is one picture's worth of values and because this while loop is true it's, it's because while it's true constantly it's going to keep running and running over and over again so it's going to keep taking pictures and keep calculating the random number values there so if I leave that running for a bit and I'll grab oh, we can then open the output file and see what it looks like okay uh, okay first I stop that there and open this output file here there's the output file and you can see how big it is and if we leave it running how much how much of a random number we get okay thank you for watching um, if you have any questions or comments please let me know and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them for you bye now